Due to the air having mass, air molecules would be more dense near the Earth's surface due to gravity rather than in higher altitudes, causing a higher atmospheric pressure on the surface of the Earth. As a mountain climber's altitude increases, the air molecules would decrease, resulting in a lower atmospheric pressure, making it harder to breathe. Because of this, mountain climbers wear oxygen tanks to receive enough oxygen to survive. Dalton's law of partial pressure explains that the sum of all partial pressure is equal to the total pressure. This is especially important for mountain climbers because to get the sufficient amount of oxygen, the mountain climber needs us device that supplies the sufficient partial pressure of oxygen to the for human respiration. The partial pressure of the oxygen and the oxide contained must be nearly the same as surface oxygen pressure for mountain climbers to survive. Putting a regular gas into an air tank and bringing it up, bringing it up to Mount Everest is not enough. The air we breathe is composed of mostly nitrogen, which can be highly inefficient. This is why our oxygen are almost 100% oxygen instead. See how much partial pressure of oxygen a person needs to consume at the peak of Everest for his body to function properly. To do this, we first must find how much partial pressure of oxygen there is at surface level, which we do by multiplying the percent of oxygen in the air by the total pressure at surface level, which is 101.35. So when we do this, we get 0.21 times 101.35. And this value turn, comes out to be 21.28 kPa of oxygen. And now that we know how much there is at surface level, we could do the same process to find how much there is at the peak of Everest. Here we will see how Dalton's law of partial pressure applies to all of this. The law states that the total pressure equals the sum of all the partial pressures. And since the total pressure at surface level is about 1 atm, and the fact that oxygen makes up about 21% of the air, and nitrogen makes up about 78% of the air, we get the equation 1 atmospheres equals 0.21 atmospheres O2 plus 0.78 atmospheres of nitrogen. But the total pressure at the peak of Everest is about 0.33 atmospheres or about one third the pressure at surface level. And since the law states that the total pressure always equals the sum of all the partial pressures. The partial pressures of oxygen and nitrogen will all increase by the same factor of one third. And this is because the percent of oxygen and nitrogen in the air always remains constant. So instead of it being 0.221 atmospheres at the peak, it will be 0.21 times one third because the pressure is one third less up there, or about 0.07 atmospheres O2. This is why it is critical that uh, that anyone who travels to that altitude uh, 
carries an oxygen tank because without the stuff, without the sufficient amount of oxygen in their system, they will they could suffer many uh, fatal diseases. Help keep oxygen tank awareness in our community. Only you can save yourself from the dangers of less than partial pressure of oxygen at higher altitudes, as shown by the application of Dalton's Law.